Welcome to the basic Rewazd Mapper video guide. Follow this simple tutorial to set up your Azeron keypad using the Rewazd Mapper. Download the Rewazd Mapper by following instructions in the Daemon Tools or Azeron email. Connect your keypad to the PC. Launch the Rewazd and locate the keypad symbol among your devices. Click on it. Locate the license symbol at the top of the application. Make sure that the software is activated. If you see, paid license, you are all set. Otherwise, this is where you have to input the serial number for your basic license. Once complete click on the back button on the top left of the software, which will bring you back to the main screen. You can create multiple binds profiles for your games. To create a new one, click on, New Game Profile, in the drop-down menu at the top left of the software window. Name the profile. Now you can map the keys of your keypad. Before doing so, go to the settings and turn off hook controller buttons. Click on any button, and choose the key you'd like to map. You can map controller buttons, mouse and keyboard keys as well as commands. Be sure to save your binds by pressing the save icon. If the icon is grayed out, your binds have been successfully saved. To remove the bind press the right key of your mouse on the button and press clear. Once you have mapped all the keys you need, proceed to the next step. Now click on the keypad side profile icon on the right side of the software. This will change the view of the keypad for you to map the 5-way switch and the analog stick. Click on the buttons of the 5-way switch and map it to your liking. Remember to save your binds. Proceed to the analog thumbstick. Press any segment of the outside ring. Here you must choose how the thumbstick will operate. You have 6 options to choose from. Left stick, right stick, mouse, keyboard WASD, flick stick, or a directional pad. Normally you would choose the left stick which is referred to often as 360 mode. However, before choosing this option, you must make sure that the game supports such a control scheme. If not, just pick the WASD option. Once done go to the advanced features of the analog stick. In this menu you can rotate the analog stick to ensure that it is centered to your liking. Adjust the axis range of both vertical and horizontal ranges, and manipulate the inner dead zone, which is the gray zone in the middle of the circle. You can adjust the inner dead zone by moving the sliders under the x-axis on the right side of the application. Once you have set up your keypad you will need to activate the profile to ensure it works while gaming. Return to the main menu. Click on the apply to slot 1 icon. The power icon will turn yellow and the profile and config section will show up. The game profile is active and you can enjoy your game. It is advisable to lock your binds. Locate this symbol and click on it to activate read only mode. Remember. You can create multiple control schemes. Switch between them by clicking on this icon and picking the profile you need. Make absolutely sure you press the apply to slot 1 button for the profile to function.